Greetings and welcome back to Ghost Exorcism Incorporated. So we're going to give Extreme another uh, shot. Um, I can't, I don't think I can fully complete this because I'm missing some pieces of evidence gathering. Uh, I'll check in a second. But uh, it's going to be an Extreme short, but I'm not actually interested so much in completely exercising the ghost. Just in getting a little bit of the evidence correct and jumping out and seeing how much it's worth to see if extreme if I actually consider extreme to be worth it because yeah I don't have an EMF reader um, I don't have a thermometer I do have the guard items and I do have 110 bucks I could get the EMF reader yeah let's do that so we've got an EMF reader replaced. Um, thermometer's 130 and an extra mirror. So I only need like 180 to have my stuff back. So I won't be able to get the thermometer optional objective. But I should be able to do everything else, though I may run out of stuff required to exercise the thing, like the flash. If uh, Yeah, if we run into, say the um, Fallen I probably won't be able to spend too much time in there because I'm limited in flash bulbs but let's give it a shot to see how much it's worth for going in and getting some things right see if Extreme does give a huge enough payoff over the uh, simple missions to actually be worth knocking out a few things um yeah, that's right. I got nothing here. No free equipment at all. So we need our... Is it foggy? We may not even need a flashlight, honestly. Let's get the photo camera and our two guard items. Let's put that in our offhand. There we go. Now the ghost is fairly aggressive on extreme, though any of you who've watched my playthroughs see that the ghost can be fairly aggressive on simple. wrong button. Alright, let's drop that. Oh, wrong button. There. Alright, it's not really near the entrance right now. So I am going to have to venture in. Now the one thing about it is, any equipment I leave behind, I just saw the ghost. There's a ghost orb. Yeah, it's moving around over there. But any equipment I leave behind is gone. So I'm going to have to take stuff back with me. But yeah, I just saw it over that way. Set the dread room. Let's go ahead and leave that. Oh, I'm getting strangled already. I just noticed my uh, screen was getting wavy. Yeah. Whoo. That guy was after me right off the bat, even though I didn't hear a heartbeat or anything. All right, let's get... More guard items, maybe? I don't know. Let's get the Entity Analyzer and the EMF Reader. And yeah, let's actually get a flashlight. Because 
because we just want to be able to identify the ghost and get a little evidence. We don't want to push it too much. We don't want to die and lose everything we brought. Yeah, I don't really need a flashlight when I'm up here. I need it on these stairs. I don't even know if this thing's got a signal, honestly. Oh, I forgot to check. That was a ghost photo. It was standing right there. So it was... It's not a, uh... It's a child. All right, it's a two. That was rough. This thing was violent right off the bat. Alright, so we have a child. With a 9P nun scan. And it only got up to 2. I really didn't notice if it got up to 3. Um, let's bring out our journal. So we have a child ghost. Um... Nine P none. Did it get up to three? All right, so I got to take temperature, written and audio. Tiger's eye and salt. If I get rid of this, salt. So we'll take some salt with us. And if there is salt, it did get up to the EMF three. So let's see, I've got some salt. We'll grab some salt and get the tiger's eye. Even though if I don't completely exercise it, you know, um, I might be wasting some money. But I want to put this stuff up there and take it with me. And then we're going to start bringing some of our other equipment back, like the cross. I don't want to lose the crucifix since it's not useful against this. And then I might bring in a few more of the Marys to give me a little bit more defensible position. Oh, uh, crap. That Mary's dead. I wonder if I can keep it if I take it back to the van. So yeah, it broke the Mary. Alright, so we've got a broken Mary. Don't need the cross. Let's get a couple more Marys to take with us. Seriously? What the hell was that? You know what? Let's take a tiger's eye with us. Just in case it jumps us while we're getting up there to put this Mary in place. I was not expecting that gong-like noise when I spawned a couple of Marys.
Now the tiger's eye and salt are pretty cheap. So I don't mind leaving some of them behind. Um, what else do I have up there? I have the Mary I just took, a salt, and a tiger's eye, I think. Um, I need a thermometer or something to check temperature. So let's take the mail. Now this is a sh is a short mission, I believe. So we should only have yeah two to three pieces of evidence. We're already getting a four or five occult rating all over the damn place here. I brought Tiger's Eye. I just want to get a temperature reading. I've got salt and tiger's eye here, but there's a good chance I've had it where it walks right over this and does nothing. Uh, it does that with the crucifix quite a bit, too. Spirit, come to me. Zero temps. Tiger's Eye did get it. I don't know why I'm carrying a used Tiger's Eye back, but I am. Now it was the salt that was questionable, not the Tiger's Eye. But we do also have zero temps. Which is incense. So let's grab an incense and another salt. You know, I got a tiger's eye up there. This might be worth the risk. Where do you put my shotgun? There it is. All right. So we can see if salt is effective by using the shotgun. And if it's not, we know the incense is. But yeah, if the salt doesn't work, we might need to look for yet another piece of evidence. Spirit, come to me. I know you're here. Spirit, show yourself. That was ghostly voice on site. We're going to need the exorcism book. So salt is not going to cut it. So... 
I want to use the ex the uh, incense. Seriously? You throwing a tantrum over there? Yeah, I'm going to need to get the exorcism book. All right, let's uh head back to the van. Man, it is so dark. All right. Let's drop the incense and the shotgun for now. Get our exorcism book. And where's our other Mary? Right there. We're going to need a backup Mary. We're going to space these out a little. We're going to put the other Mary here. Put the incense, I, I mean the tiger's eye there. And even though this probably isn't going to work, we're going to keep the salt on us. You who haunt this place in the name of the Lord, I command you to go back to where you came from. May your soul return to the earth. May your body return to the dust. So be the will of the Lord. That was not ghostly voice on sight. Nothing happened. So I was wrong. We're going to put our book back up. We don't need that. Uh, that means it could indeed be the incense. I mean the uh, shotgun. So let's take it with us. And try this again. We do have the tiger's eye up here as a backup. Spirit, come to me. That did disperse it. But it didn't do the rainbow effect. Spirit, show yourself. That did not get rid of it. Oh, it ran into that again instead of the incense. Damn it. All right. We do know the salt will stop it at least. So what do we have? in contact with the entity. Alright, so the salt did stop it, so I'm going to say that was a 3 to 4. Um, let us get another incense stick and try this again. If, we, if the incense doesn't work, but it should, yeah, the incense should work. Because it's based off of the, uh, um, temperature. Spirit, show yourself. Oh, you are rabid over there right now. Spirit, come to me. Hmm. 
I don't know. Spirit, show yourself. Was that the final step? I don't think it was. I didn't see the... No, it's still there. So salt did not work. That means we have another piece of evidence somewhere. Salt did disperse it, but didn't um, destroy it, so to speak. Uh, that could be holy water. Yeah, because if we do it by guesswork, um, that means there's probably written evidence, which would be holy water. Uh, because I already tried the exorcism book, which would have been that. So that means we did not have a three to four. Salt just manages to disperse this. What we do have is some form of writing. So we could take the book in and try and figure out what that writing is. But I think what I'm going to do instead is just take a holy water with me. And we're going to start retrieving some of our um, equipment. And I'm going to throw the holy water if it shows up. Though it's going to be kind of hard to retrieve my equipment when I've got three things in my hand unless I leave one behind. Hmm. Well, those two are used. Uh, I could get it to show up long enough for me to throw this at it to try. Spirit, show yourself! That wasn't it. Let's take a Mary back with us. We'll reload our shotgun. and go get our last Mary. We'll give it a little bit to calm down since it just came down here and beat on the van. But we'll go get our last Mary and just call it at this. Um, I think we would have to, it, it's gonna be for some form of writing and we're gonna have to find the uh, dread room and cleanse a, a uh, pentagram if that's the case but we'll go with the evidence we have here and see how much of a payout we get I just want to retrieve my last Mary statue where's my flashlight I guess I can't switch to it since it's in my offhand and I don't have anything in my primary hand like that. Alright, let's get the hell out of here before we get strangled and see what kind of payout we get for what we got. That'll let me know if extreme is worth it. Now we're going to have lost a Mary, two salt, and two uh, incense, I believe, and two tiger's eye. All right, 45, 45, 35. It was spirit box radio. But I did do the exorcism step for that. Because the exorcism step for that... Oh, is a neutrino gun thing. I had to find a cursed object with the mail and destroy it. I thought that was just, oh, interesting. So did they change? Okay, that is Recite Exorcism Book. EVP is also Exorcism Book. So yeah, Spirit Box Radio, one I've never actually gotten, is actually different. See, that's the same as EMF-5. 
No, that's shoot the entity with it. Um, okay. So, Spirit Box Radio is the same as the Revenant's base ability, is what it is. That's what it is. Okay, so we got 90 bucks just for the two pieces of evidence we got right, 35 for getting the classification right. So, we got 250 out of that. Um, and 20 for the secondary, 20 for a photo. We didn't get any occult objects, but they would have been worth 25 each. So we got 250 out of that and 300 experience. And what did we use up? Let's scroll through and see what updates. Yeah, we're down two tiger's eye and one holy water and two incense. We actually didn't lose any salt. That's interesting. And one Mary. So we got 257. Let's go ahead and buy back what we used. Oh, I guess I got to hit buy. There we go. Uh, two of these. One of these. And two of these. So we still made 130 off of that. So yeah, that it, provided you don't die, of course, uh, since you have to bring in every piece of equipment and you bring your equipment back, even if you don't complete this, if you basically head out before you would die, um, you still can make a pretty good haul on the extremes. So yeah, that that's one good way to uh, farm cash, I guess, um, because I believe on the simples, these were only worth 15 they were worth a third of this value. I know exercising the entity was worth like a hundred. I'll have to compare. I mean, it is a little bit harsher a threat because you saw how aggressive they were, but heck, even on simple, they can get pretty aggressive. But on simple, you're not really risking your equipment. Now, they said they're going to... Uh, overhaul the tutorial area here. Uh, looks like they have not done it yet. But, so extreme isn't too awfully bad. It's a higher risk, higher reward. But we will um, call this an episode. So thank you all for watching. And we'll see you next time.